Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wolfstalker25, and today I'm bringing you some new action figure reviews for you guys on the Hasbro Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 or Cosmo Build-A-Figure Waves. Uh, this is the Rocket Raccoon figure and the Build-A-Figure Cosmo that we are going to be reviewing today. So, if you did want to get and complete Cosmo, you do have to get all the figures in the wave besides Star-Lord. So those figures are Drax, Nebula, Mantis, Kraglin, Adam Warlock, and Rocket. So those are all the characters that you need to get. Star-Lord's just an added bonus tag-in figure, um, which is a little bit of a bummer. But, uh, yeah, so great wave, honestly, overall. I really like, I think, all the characters in this wave. Um, but we will talk about the entirety of the wave overall at the end of the video. Really quick, I do want to get into and talk about the actual figures for these guys here. So let me raise my camera up really quick so I could actually see a little bit better uh, and look into the camera and um, or look into the phone screen. So we're going to talk about Rocket first. Rocket is very nice. I, I do really appreciate this new Rocket. I wish he would have had a better neck peg. The neck peg is actually just specifically a ball. Um, I almost wish he had more of like an actual non-teeth showing head and I feel like the eyes are a little wacky and crazy like I feel like the eyes almost need to be more of just like a black dot type thing instead of like the little pupil in there because it makes them look almost kind of like with the teeth showing like that and the eyes it almost makes them look very savage when there's several scenes in the movie where the teeth aren't really showing and the eyes are very like calm or almost sad looking in a way so it's like I feel like this version looks a little odd um, accessory wise, he does have this big old blaster here, no paint detail on it. I feel like it could have worked with like a gun metal somewhere or maybe some sort of light up color in the gun somewhere. I don't even know if he used this thing at all in the movie. I can't even remember. Um, but they gave him the weapon, which is nice that he at least got an accessory. Um, would have liked an extra head sculpt of some kind. Um, a yelling head, something, I don't know. I feel like he almost looks a little too brown for the fur. I feel like... Rocket should have almost looked a little bit more gray or darker. Um, he looks almost too light. Um, but yeah, uh, looks great, honestly. Really great figure. I'm surprised they gave it this much articulation and detail that they did do here. Um, I do wonder, though, if you could maybe use this body for the uh, what if Howard the Duck figure to make him have an articulated body but i don't know if you can um because i don't have that figure yet uh but yeah rocket's great um sculpt wise looks good the little chest symbol looks best probably on him a little bit of paint you know smear on there a little bit but um he looks great the tail looks good sculpt detail on that head looks good i think this might be the similar head or the same head from volume two rocket because i think that rocket had two heads he had a screaming one and um he had another one uh really quick we'll take a look at him next to the volume 2 rocket who's actually right here on my shelf uh looks good i i think i like this rocket the best now i do like him in the guardians uniform i do like this one a lot though but the tail this damn tail always falls out um i think did they have rocket in a two-pack with uh, um thor for like infinity war i thought they did like a rocket three-pack with thor and like groot uh, but yeah, I do like this one a lot. I'll do a head swap a little bit later in the video, but articulation wise for Rocket, um, sculpt is great. I think there's some missing paint like on the arm here. There might be missing black paint for the straps or something like that, but I think all the figures kind of have that. Um, arms go up this far. Does have, uh, you can do a full 360 with the arm. I actually didn't say that on any of the other Guardians, but they all can do a full 360. No butterflies. The head really can't look up and down at all, unfortunately. You can do side to side full 360 with the head. Um, single jointed elbows for both sides. They only come up that far, but he does have, since there's no, uh, so no bio, no dice, uh, bicep cut wow i can't speak today i've been doing all these reviews back to back the, the the elbow does have a swivel and hinge on it or a swivel um and then the wrists all do swivel and hinge as well i want to say these are all um oh no this one is a vertical hinge i want to say yeah this one's a horizontal over here so vertical on the side horizontal on the other so very nice he does have a diaphragm that gets him back that far which is pretty great he could probably get into like almost a running pose since rocket kind of runs on all fours sometimes in some of the movies uh no no uh waist cut unfortunately 
Again, same thing with Drax. They gave him the gun metal on the belt. They didn't follow through with any of the belt bits back there. The tail does hinge, so you could bring it up that far. You could go down with it. It could do a full 360. Um, so depending on how you want his tail to look, it also unplugs. Uh, so you could kind of change up the look of the tail um, for Rocket, which is kind of nice. So you could kind of like change the pose. Not 100% perfect for what you'd want to pose it with. It probably need a little bit more movement, but um, legs go up that far, back that much, upper thigh cut, single jointed knees, gets you back that much, and he does have the uh, the knee, also does have a swivel on it. Um, rocket on the splits, basically the entire splits they could do. And um, again, uh, similar to how the other characters did, there's like almost missing red paint there. It's like there's a follow through strap where the line should have continued down, but it doesn't like go down around. I feel like it should surround this whole bit there. And then no boot cut, unfortunately. Well, oh, no, wait, hold on. No, that's the knee. Um, and then the ankles go back that far and um, forward that much. And then he does have ankle, ankle pivot as well on the little guy. So Rocket's got a lot of articulation, actually, for just such a little character, which I really greatly appreciate that he has so much added detail on him you kind of do have a problem standing because the tail makes him a little back heavy so you almost have to use the tail as like kind of a um a stand for him uh so then we have cosmo which is pretty good unfortunately cosmo to me looks very orangey for some reason i feel like he needed well she technically for the movie um i feel like this cosmo works a little bit better as a comic book cosmo not exactly a guardians of the galaxy volume 3 cosmo i feel like we needed to have the the snout isn't white this whole cosmo she has the same fur color all the way through so this all should be the same color up to the nose obviously um it should be a little bit darker a little bit more brown not as like orangey looking that they kind of did here um and the suit is entirely wrong like she had like something different on the chest the silver wasn't all here i feel like the back was different this is almost guardians of the galaxy volume one or two cosmo that they kind of made here they like took reference photos from that and like made this off of it um but articulation wise her head is on just a, a dumbbell a dumbbell joint in there so she could kind of look down this much she could look up that much Again, I wish this character had alternate heads. You could get side to side. Very nice. But, like, it's a dog. Why didn't we get, like, three heads? I think Timber came with, like, two or three different heads for the G.I. Joe Classified. I wish Cosmo came with two or three different heads here. Um, more of one of, like, a barking or, like, a snarling face and, like, a happy tongue out face or something like that. Instead of just this straight looking forward. And they gave her, like, weird pupils where she, like, looks just weird and kind of derpy. Um, and then the tail is on a hinge as well and does plug in so you could do a full 360 with the tail um, and then you can hinge it up and down to like change different poses uh, kind of go side to side but not really I kind of wish it was almost on a ball joint in there instead of just a little hinge um, you do get like a kind of like a diaphragm here which could bring down that much back that much um, and then you get a little bit of a side to side so yeah side to side to like change the way Cosmo kind of is going. Legs could go back that far for the back leg. Forward that much. She could get her in sitting poses, which is nice. I actually have that in one of the thumbnails she's sitting. Um, both the legs go forward that far with that bit and back. The ankles all do hinge. And they have a tiny bit of like a pivot. So very nice that she has all that. Um, and then the whole head here. There's really not like, uh, I kind of wish the head here had like a little bit of up and, up and down, but you could do a 360 here with that. And then the front legs, forward that much, back that much, and then you get the hinge there, um, and then another hinge down here, which goes back that far and forward that much. And then again, like I said, the paws do have a hinge and swivel on all of them as well. I'm not going to bother doing that with the front legs because I don't want to have to re- do everything oh and then the front knees here do have like uh, a swivel as well there they do have like a turn um, I think the same thing with the back as well yeah so you do have the turns there so a lot of articulation on the dog man there's a lot there and then another thing if you are curious we'll pop off the head that's what it looks like with the joint there 
Cosmo does have the added like glass dome. So you bring it on here and then there's two little pegs right here for the head. So if you don't, if you don't want the dome on, you could always take the dome off, but most of the time in the movie, she has it on. So let me get that plugged in. So you plug those into there and then you pop her little head back on. Actually, one thing, I was going to do this as a comparison towards the end of the video. But while I have the head off, I'm going to see. I have timber here from the uh, G.I. Joe line. I did want to see if you could put the head on this dog. So this is a wolf, obviously. It doesn't really match the dog style that she would be. But if you did want to customize and make your own custom dog... You could always maybe do this head on there if you wanted a little bit different instead of the wolf head. And then, let's see, can you do... <laughs> Space wolf. Space timber. So there you go. There's a look at that in case you were wondering or curious by any means. Um, we'll bring timber out in a little bit for an actual comparison. Um, but then, yeah, you pop the head on so then you can have the head in the little dome like this. Um... And then you know the bigger bit of the piece goes back there. And then Cosmo has these other two like Buzz Lightyear type bits that snap together. And then you bring it back. And then there you go. Oh, we got the fishbowl kind of coming off a little bit. Um, it doesn't fully shut. I kind of wish they would have released an extra piece that allowed the head to fully, uh, allowed the the fishbowl, the space nut, like the astronaut helmet to like fully close instead of having it open just like that all the time. So it looks like it's kind of like closed up a little bit. But yeah, that's it with Cosmo articulation wise, accessory wise for her and Rocket. They don't really get a lot. Um, I don't think you really could have done much more. I think the only thing I would have changed with Cosmo here would have been I would have added an extra head to have an open like tongue out head um height wise on these guys rocket stands a little over three inches tall like about three inches tall cosmo to the top of the dome is a little under four inches probably about three and three quarters um the top of her back is three inches tall and then if you bring the tail out all the way kind of as straight as it will go she's about six and a quarter inches long as well about six inches long so yeah there you go we're not going to do a ton of size comparisons with like other lines i might bring out just a couple really quick just to like see just because i'm a little bit more curious with them so we're not going to go crazy with the other lines here so here's if you want to do 1000 toys master chief um if you want to do that since that's like another space character um and then if you want to do like maybe figma samus you know, there's those looks. So that kind of works. Um, we'll do the other Hasbro brands really quick. Just for like a... If you wanted to bring them ever over into Star Wars. Or G.I. Joe. We'll do Snake Eyes over here. Um, Power Ranger. Mighty Morphin Red. And then we'll do uh, the Victory Rail. The Foundation over here. So if you did want to see any of those, there you go. So that's all we're going to do for those. I'm not going to bring out any of the other wacky wild characters from other reviews. Um, just because I don't think these guys kind of need it since they're so small. Um, and then really quick, I'll bring out the comic book black suit Spider-Man. In case you wanted to use this rocket as like a comic book one or this, co this Cosmo. Um, I do know that they have Venom on the team at some point in the comics. And then America Chavez for if they ever eventually cross over in like Secret Wars or something. Um, and then here's Rocket next to his other counterpart, his Volume 2 look. Um, so there you go here with them. Let me actually bring them forward a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, there's these two right here. Um, I do really like the Volume 2 look. And like I said, we'll do a head swap really fast. See if you could put this head on this body. Um, you can, so it's a little actually loose. Uh, so if you did want that, I think the browns won't really match up here. I think the joint is just slightly different. So yeah, 
if you did want to swap the heads there and give a more angry yelling rocket um, it's just a little bit loose here on here but I kind of like that look a little bit more if I'm being honest I kind of like the yelling look um, does the tail kind of match yeah it kind of works honestly I might keep this look for rocket on the shelf and keep this more yelling head on him just because I kind of prefer that look a little bit more than the this one so yeah I might I might do that um, so might do a little bit of a pop and swap um, and then for Cosmo's comparisons since we want to do some size comparisons with Cosmo we've got the Dungeons and Dragons I believe this is Guinevere the Panther so there you go there's a look at them two together um, and then we have Timber the G.I. Joe classified wolf I really love these six inch animals um, I kind of wish we could get a un spacesuit version of Cosmo uh, and then we have the other G.I. Joe classified figure this is the crocodile uh, I don't remember its name it's probably got a it's from the croc master thing the two pack so there you go let's look at all them together um, so pretty great uh, I do like timber I do like the Guinevere a lot I've never reviewed I don't think either I might have reviewed timber I can't remember um, and then let's bring out some other guardians so up first we got Drax out here so here's a look at the rest of the wave together so we got Drax up first and then we'll bring out Star-Lord and then Adam Warlock Nebula and then Mantis and Kraglin um, let me get, make sure Mantis doesn't fall over here and then we'll bring out uh, Kraglin as well so Kraglin's kind of falling on me don't you do it so there you go. There's a look at your Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 figures for their wave and entirety. If you are curious, I don't have the Groot yet. I've shown it off in all the other reviews. But if you did want to see what some different Groots look like, if you wanted to mix and match, here's Teenage Groot and Big Boy Volume 1 Groot. So, looks very nice. I do like the look of these two groups together with the whole group. Um, I actually have them both on the shelf. I'm trying to kind of make one of each figure on the shelf instead of like multiples of the figures for the MCU just because they kind of take up so much and I don't have the space to display everything. But this whole wave is awesome. I didn't expect to complete it as kind of quickly as I did. I thought I was going to play a little bit more clearance chicken with the guys and like wait a little bit longer. Um, but if I did have to rate them all as at $25 a piece it does suck Cosmo being the build a figure also kind of sucks I said in my review for Kraglin and Adam if I were to design this wave myself and I had the choice of what figures went in the wave I would have removed Cosmo from being the build a figure and I would have taken Kraglin out of the wave I would have then put um in Kraglin's place I would have put the high evolutionary and then I would have uh, put Groot as the build a figure so then we could get like one of each character of the wave and then Kraglin and Cosmo I would have put in a two pack together personally and released them together for like maybe $30 released each character in the wave maybe $30 $35 something like that for Cosmo and um, Kraglin put those two together since they interact a lot in the movie and then your wave would have consisted of Nebula, Drax, Star-Lord, Mantis, Rocket, High Evolutionary, and Groot as a Build-A-Figure and Adam Warlock. If you want to take the wave a step further since we didn't get Nebula I would have taken Adam Warlock out of the wave put in, uh, or not Nebula I would have put Gamora in the wave in some sort of look of hers so then you would have had High Evolutionary and Gamora in the wave and then I would have taken Adam and put him into the a two pack with maybe Aisha or something like that. I think Aisha is the name of like his mom, the leader of the Sovereign or whatever their name are. Would have done that. So two two packs, a whole wave of seven figures and a build a figure. So eight figures in the wave, two two packs, twelve figures overall. Maybe we'll get High Evolutionary at some point. Maybe we'll get a Volume Three Gamora. Maybe we'll get Aisha. I don't know. You could always do Aisha and the high evolutionary in a two pack together and maybe Gamora by herself or like in a different two pack, but I doubt we'll ever get the volume three Gamora high evolutionary, maybe, but not Gamora. So 
yeah if i rated these figures out of like my favorite from first to last of the wave i think my overall favorite figure from this wave is probably <laughs> as bad as it is rocket rocket is my favorite um i think i would have liked a different head sculpt personally maybe a slightly different lighter shade for the brown not as maybe a little bit darker brown and i was like uh, light brown as he did here maybe a little bit more gray put in there my next favorite character of the wave is uh, nebula followed by uh, mantis so i like both of those two drax star lord or no probably rocket nebula mantis cosmo drax star lord adam craglin I think Craglin is kind of my least favorite just because the articulation and the sculpt work. The sculpt is good. The articulation is just kind of eh, especially through the torso and the and the abs. Um, and I feel like this wave as a whole is not a bad wave, man. But, like, I just feel like we're missing and lacking on so many accessories. Like, Drax could have came with an extra head. Nebula maybe could have come with some extra hands, maybe an extra head. Craglin could have come with two or three alternate heads, I feel like. Mantis, maybe some alternate hands, maybe an extra head. Star Lord, even though he didn't wear it in the movie, maybe give him the masked head just to throw it in there since he's by himself with just the blasters. Um, maybe you give him some sort of blast effect or something like that. Craglin, maybe you give him a depowered arrow. Cosmo should have come with an extra head, at least being the build a figure of the wave. Maybe another tail to like do different, like a different wagging position or pose or something like that rocket could have come with an extra head maybe another different type of blaster and adam maybe an alternate head or maybe some alternate hands for some open hands or something like that and then maybe a cloth cape even i don't know i i just feel like we're we're so lacking on this wave of accessory uh, accessory wise and it's just kind of odd because even the paint detail wasn't fully there on every figure we're missing a lot of paint on all these guys drax is missing the red right there as you can see it just hard cuts when it gets to the other like the leg bit there star lord has the same problem mantis and nebula have the same problem rocket has the same problem We're missing a lot of paint so as a whole i think this wave is pretty strong it actually got me to buy the entirety of the wave when i wasn't trying to get that hard into marvel legend waves right now and i wanted to wait on a lot of clearance for some of these so as a whole i really like this wave i'm really happy to have it and cosmo like i said while being inaccurate because the snout is like more of a white instead of being the entirely the same color cosmo works in comic or mcu depending on what you want to use it for and you could always just buy an extra cosmo if you really wanted to buy an extra rocket maybe or buy an extra cosmo piece separately you could always customize the head and have one head like this for maybe a comic book one and if you want in your mcu display maybe you just change the paint color on the head or maybe you change the paint overall, and then you have an MCU and a comic one. I don't know. That's that's all for me, though, today, I think. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you found the review helpful. Would I recommend buying this entire Cosmo Wave? I mean, personally, for me, because I really enjoyed the movie, I thought it was worth it. But for $24 a piece, I don't know. I did personally buy these at GameStop when they were on sale. So I bought Adam... Drax, Star Lord, Rocket, and Mantis from GameStop. Uh, Drax, I used a $15 off online coupon on to get them for $10. Adam was free because I bought these for that deal, so it was like buy three, get one free. So uh, Drax was 10 bucks. Adam was free. These were 25 a piece. So and then the other two came from Target, and they were 25 each full price. So yeah, um, $25 a piece, kind of rough. I think as a whole, if you're trying to get the entirety of the Guardians, it's very, very steep to get Groot with the whole, like, wave, because it's, like, over $200, so, but yeah, um, I do recommend the figures, um, but I think they do each have their flaws, so if you haven't checked out all the reviews, and you are curious or like, cautious on any of them, check out all the reviews, and then, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think of this wave and did you get it or are you going to wait or not get it at all and just pass because you don't need this version of the Guardians on your shelf. So that's going to do it today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you haven't done so already, would always appreciate a like on the channel and a sub or like on the video and a subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. It does help me out a lot. I do greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.